Governor Andy Bashir said it would be an uh, extreme miracle if that, if they found anyone else alive in this collapse. Those who did survive from that candle factory found under feet of metal and debris. This was just the scene yesterday from our Sky 11 drone. As many as 100 people were once unaccounted for after that collapse. Fortunately, that number now down to eight. We did hear from a factory spokesperson who said eight people did die in that storm. That's a confirmed total. Mayfield Consumer CEO says the original number of casualties steadily dropped over the weekend as factory workers got their power back on and their phones charged. And all he says he's spoken to 94 of the 100 people scheduled to work that night. The leader of the family owned company says some employees escaped on their own. Others pulled from the rubble. He says the most recent rescue happened Saturday night and is hopeful more will come today. But Governor Andy Bashir is still hesitant. I am uh, praying. Uh, that maybe uh, original estimates of those we've lost were wrong. If so, it's going to be it's going to be pretty wonderful. But but we we it's way too early. This is still a rescue operation. We're so I'm so happy and hopeful that it's still a rescue operation. FEMA will decide when that operation changes from rescue to recovery, but right now it has not said when that will happen. Many have said the factory should have called off workers from that night or had a better place to go to shelter. When we asked Governor Andy Bashir about that, he said as far as everyone's concerned, they were in a sheltered place for the people they found who, who did not make it out, even those who did. All right. Thank you so much, Brooke, for that update.